In this video, you will learn how to configure equipment to make your indoor navigation system work. It consists of three parts. Prerequisites, adding iBeacons via mobile app, and adding iBeacons via web portal. As a result, you will have indoor navigation working in Navigin mobile application. The easiest way to have indoor navigation is to place iBeacons at your venue. We recommend to use one beacon per 1000 square feet of space. You can use any iBeacon compatible devices. iOS devices support iBeacons starting with iPhone 4S and iOS version 7.1. Android devices support iBeacons starting with Android version 4.3. For hardware compatibility, please check your phone manufacturer website. Before we begin, you should have Account on the Navigin website with implemented maps Android or iOS device with the Bluetooth module switched on and the Navigin application installed Set of iBeacons that are configured in terms of advertising interval and TX power according to our documentation The default values for the interval is 350 milliseconds and for the TX power is 2 you can add iBeacons to your map via Navigin web portal or through the mobile application. Firstly, let's look at adding the beacons via mobile application. Open application with your credentials. Download location that you need in the Location Management tab. To add iBeacons to your map via the Navigin application, run the measuring mode. Move the A mark over the point where you will place the I beacon. Keep your device as close as possible to the beacon that you want to set. Tap the beacon button. All beacon settings will be automatically read and saved inside the navigation system. After that, tap start and wait about 5 seconds while the application detects the closest I beacon and reads its parameters. If the timer doesn't stop after 5 seconds, there might be conflicting beacons nearby. To avoid potential conflicts, make sure there are no other beacons in 5-7 meters. After that, you can stick iBeacon to the wall or ceiling. You can learn more on how to select the right place to place iBeacon in our documentation. Repeat the previous steps until you add all iBeacons in your venue. Next important step is to upload the map to the cloud via Location Manager. To do that, Tap the cloud button and wait while the information about your locations is uploading to the cloud. Now you can check navigation switching to the navigation mode menu. If you think that accuracy is not enough, you can try the radio map measurement. Please contact Navigin representative for more details. Another way to configure your indoor navigation system is using web portal. To add iBeacons to your map, log into Navigin portal. Then switch to the Locations tab and select your target location. Select Beacon layer in the Layers menu, activate the Add Beacon tool to add the beacons. In the Open dialog specify the beacons parameters. In the Description text field you can add beacons name. We strongly recommend to use unique beacon names. For example, for contact.io beacon, please use four digit code that is written on the back of the beacon as a name. To get the values for the UUID, major and minor fields, open the Beacon Vendor app, connect to the beacon and find the required values. The default values for the RSSI per meter and the power fields are minus 82. Don't forget to click Add. After these steps, the beacon's icon should appear in the map. Repeat these actions for all beacons that you have deployed in the target location. When all beacons are added, click Save. Now you can download the map to the Navigin app and try the navigation. Thank you for your attention. We hope this video guide was useful for you.